Hello cool cats, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Games by Moonlight's first playthrough, Hogwarts Legacy, part 27. Ooh, yes. Wow, we're almost gonna hit that 30 episode. Oh, for sure, we're gonna break 30 on this one. Now that I think about it, which which one of my series had the longest? Curious. Maybe Cyberpunk? I think Cyberpunk was pretty long. Either way, that keto wasn't that long. All right, so we're back. Um, off stream, I was able to do a bunch of these, uh, you know, the the little small missions like Merlins and whatnot, and those treasure temples, treasure vaults, actually, temple. <coughs> Hogwarts. So we're gonna go ahead and continue doing the main quests, so that way we get a bunch of fun content to view. <clears throat> but first, I have a bunch of stuff to identify, and I'm gonna go pick up some stuff from the, you know, the usual. I don't know if I need any more mallow. Mallow. Or oh snap! Look at that. Two items are actually better than what we're wearing. Ooh. Okay. Switch. And was it a cloak? I can't wear it yet. Can't wear it. What was the other item? Is it a hat? Oh. It was the glove? Yes, the glove. Ooh. As I mentioned in our previous stream, ooh, nah, uh, we're actually going with the ministry look. So this is what I assume uh, Oboro is going to look like when she gets into the ministry as an Aura. Her task is hunting down serial wizards and evil ones. So she has to look professional. Ah, oh, dang it, what was I wearing before? Oh, the aristocrat. Yes. Yep. So this is her aura look. She wears the, uh, the sanguine mask to make sure no one gets her identity. And she has a little snazzy hat as well. All right. For now, we'll go with this. But I do need to go ahead and thread it. <clears throat> Ooh, and then I spent Maxima Potion, so I need more. Maxima Potions make this game way too easy, actually, but it's okay. I feel like we're gonna start needing it. Oh, snap. Wigan potions be working. Okay, so here we go. Oh, what are does this? It's fine. This no, we need to get rid of that noise. I still don't have anti magic three. So we're gonna go ancient magic two. Dairy call feather. I should go check that my dairy calls. Um, uh, nope. Nope. Yes. So again. Ancient magic. All right. Everything else I can. S oh, how about the glasses? Yes. Ancient magic. Ancient magic. Ancient magic. Ancient magic. Ancient. Ancient. Good. 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 Let me stop by my little animals. I apologize for the delays. Hey, where are my animals? <laughs> no, what happened? No one's feeding you? Rebellion. Uh, so we gotta do the brush and then the food. Oh, 
also. Oh, this one's maxed out. Okay. They are full here. How come no one fed you? I gave you a monster thing on a bobber thingy. Wait, is this not working? Oh, okay, they're getting fed now. I'm like, what the? F ah, deer claw. Be the harbingers of death. According to the lore in the game, you can only get, see one if you have experienced a death in your life. Whether it. I mean, it's not ready to be. Alright, we're good. That's all I needed to do. Um, I do have a. Two of these hippogriffs. What? Do I have any room anywhere else? Let's check it out. Hello, do we have any rooms here? Uh, species is full. Dang it! A funny looking thing though. <laughs> How about the main room? What are we here? Oh, we're full too? You know what? I'm gonna get rid of the puffle skin in the other room and put hippogriffs. Nah, I just keep the hippogriffs in my bag. Alright, we're done here. Audis. So we're gonna stop by Hoggy Weirds and then. <clears throat> I think that's why I gotta go anyways. Uh, hogs meat, sorry. Yeah, you see, I gotta go here. We're doing the dragon, the quest from the dragon puppy. I want a dragon. So we're gonna go try to get ourselves a dragon. Oh, I forgot to turn on the fan. Oh, it is on. Okay, whatever. Do not melt. <laughs> You're back. Nice to see you again. What are we looking for today? We're selling stuff. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Point of toilet. All right. All right, Poppy, what's gonna happen? It's not like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. Mm. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, burn things marks. like that. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. 
I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If Adventure that's right, time. <clears throat> I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. They're straight loading me into that place, wherever it is. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Let's do it. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Revelio. Where are we? <laughs> oh, it's it's a special kind of stage. That's it. There she is, above us. She did make it home. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Revelio. Angry. Poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. <laughs> oh, it was bleeding. Oh, Avelia. Skelly. <clears throat> For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that. At least until we've done what we came to do. Why do Avelia. I see two red? Oh, it's wolfies. Pork lump juice. A lot of noise there. <laughs> oh, the dragon didn't notice us. Ooh. How charming. Cultures. They keep in touch with each other. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Ooh. There she is again. She's breathtaking. From a distance. Yeah. Uh, am I repair up? Dang it. I see the bridge was not spared. Fantastic. Dang, it's been a while since I used repair roll. Avelia. Revelia. And I wonder how 
good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Pavilion. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. <laughs> We're gonna get eaten or burned at the minimum. Revelio. Watch your step. Revelio. Okay, I don't see any reds. Pity. She must have been starved to pick off a grab horn. Or just raring for a fight. Oof. Puppy, if she attacks us, it's your fault. <laughs> Quiet, what was that? Oh no. I think it notices us. What are we trying to do then? One, two, two, go! Oi! Whenever you're ready, I'll follow your lead. I'll draw her attention. Follow when it's safe. Why? Oh! Still be able to smell you. Oh, that's stupid. Revelio. Oh no. Watch out! It's her domain. She'll make sure we know it. One, two, three, two. Ay 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 ay. Keep at it. We just want to make it to the next. One, two. She isn't making it easy. Go. Oh, chests. Chests. I want those chests. Ah. Look at that. Hidden chests, everybody. Do not forget the chests. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> ah, gosh darn it. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, 27 gold, really? And a green stripe. Man, these chests are not worth it. You would think they'd be like something cool. 27 gold. Ooh, that was an explosive. Ooh, Ooh what's in here? Oh, snap! Nothing. Nothing was in there. Dang it. There is a chest over there, though. She just appeared out of nowhere. Rebellion. Oh, snap. This is a bad timing. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, I can't believe I'm so I made that. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. That was terrible of me. <laughs> ah, dang it, the bridge is broken again.
some excitingness here. There's the nest. We're almost there. The what now? Oh. Pork lump juice. Why is every bridge here I could just repair it from here. Oh. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too Rebellion. much. Rebellion. Good thinking, but she'd still be able to smell you. was brilliant and did you see how clever she left us perfectly unharmed <laughs> creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize that's what gran always says the important thing is that we survived it and we returned her egg thank you for doing this with me wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. What's going on? <clears throat> oh, your grandma? Maybe? <clears throat> or are they tracking the dragon? It's either they're tracking the dragon or her or Poppy's grandma. We'll find out now. Game freaking loads. It's definitely struggling. The potato is struggling. <laughs> How could I have been so blind? Revelia. Okay, I guess. Uh, Hello, Hamora. I guess I'm giving Poppy a little time to load. <laughs> I think there's supposed to be a continuation quest, but we might have to. Get out and reload the area. <clears throat> Please don't be the demi guys. Revelio. Because if it is, I gotta do it at night. Cool. All right then. Uh. Well, let whatever do its thing, you move, Bobber. So let's go. We have two story quests. 
In the shadow of mine. Oh, you know what? Let's let's do the one that's lower. We need someone that speaks the gabli gook. Wait, wait, wait. I need to spend some time in Hogwarts, like finding all the, the secrets. Because now that I have most of the tools, I should be able to pretty much unlock everything. No? Ooh, what was that? <laughs> what the heck was that? Rebellion. Should we come back at night? No. <laughs> Oh, Hello no. there. Hello, Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Logcock. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. I feel like I'm taking a bunch of these like unexpected students to unnecessary danger. <coughs> you said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. Lodgok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple key terms first. So I will meet you there. Once again, unnecessary danger. <laughs> uh, where are you taking? Oh, over here, huh? <clears throat> Once I learn abracadabra, I will do the battle arenas. Ooh, I found a second battle arena too. One on the north side. So definitely when I get all the spells, I will take start doing them. I should destroy it now, actually. Revelio. Ooh, all this thing. No, that's not that. Wait a minute. How do we even go into this thing? Oh, this is... That might be another cursed spell. Maybe Abracadabra. <laughs> Who knows? Or maybe we're about to go there. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbore and his blasted journals. Bragbore? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbore's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. 
We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Amit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. <laughs> I am. Um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodcock. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen, either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Oh, stealth mission. <coughs> what else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. Mine's all stealth missions. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. It's not, but. I'll meet and I can do this. I want to charge you and blow stuff up. <laughs> Oh, I yo, shall yo. See you welcome soon. back to the stream, JP. Welcome back. Good evening, sir. I hope you're doing swell. Revelia. Oh, so this is the mine, huh? Okay. I don't know. I don't trust Ludluck. He keeps sending me to go do, like, very dangerous things. The and door is me. looking at us. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's what that means. Da -da -da -da. Which one, Papi or Papi or Natty? There's, a, there's another one, I forgot the other one. I didn't even know there's an eyeball, actually. <laughs> Mind's eye. She, she told me to wait for her, like, reply and then, like, vanished. Now I'm using another, uh... Some random Indian kid, and I'm taking him to some Surreal dangerous cave. One for reality. Pavelio, I'm a terrible influence mind. to these students. Grander than I, had expected. I, I create the uh, degenerates and delinquents from Hogwarts. I take him to do very, very I dangerous believe missions. believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. And I'm the transfer student too. This is why you don't trust Rebellion. the transfer student. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Oh, that scared crap out of me. <laughs> Rebellia. You know what? I think I have a better neck, actually. Is it? No. It was star something. Ancient mystery scarf. Nah. 
Actually, that's not that bad. Too much blue. Too much blue. That works. Revelio. All right, let's go. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. If you die, it's not my fault. Okay, I'm in. I hear voices. Amit, you'll need to stay close to me. I've dealt with worse enemies than these. Yeah, seriously, I told you. I put these kids in unnecessary danger. Uh, fine. Amit, just stay there. Loyal Sentinel, Sentinel, I need Sentinel. Ooh, I missed. Oh, that's a good one. A mid shot of bolt of lightning. I'll get us through here safely, Amit. You have my word. <laughs> hey. You know what? Everyone that goes to Hogwarts is some kind of like weapon, honestly. We're like. being watched by a door. Uh huh. Revelio. Don't wish to be seen, do we? Yep. I put Poppy in danger, Sebastian in Actually Sebastian, I he, he gave me danger, okay. He's he's a good buddy. He teaches you the 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 the, the, the naughty magic. <laughs> Maybe the postal? Oh friggity friggity freck. Levioso maybe. Levioso! No. Accio. How about Flip Taro? That's not it. Whatever. Ah, why? Rebellion. That's gonna bother me though. Uh... Ah, I gotta turn on the fire first. Hey, hey. Yes, yes. Turn on the fire. Get the stuff going. Now it's pumping. Yes. Revelio. You know, when I actually successfully do these puzzles, nowadays I'm very, very proud of myself. I feel like I'm getting you know, so old that my brain can't solve these me puzzles in video games anymore. Oh, thank goodness. I'm not that bad yet. Not that far gone. I feel like if I can't solve a Tomb Raider puzzle these days, oh. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Boy, we are. Let's take a way look around, Amit. See if we can find any. Oh, plans. there's reds. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there must be more notes around here. What value they be building? I was never good to start with puzzles from the get-go. <laughs> ah. Watch this. Akio! That's the 
last loyalist. Unfortunate, really. I'd imagine most goblins to be brilliant and kind. You know, it's funny is I'm seriously fascinated to see gobbledygook like come written in a goblin stuff. hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. All right, I I'm will in. get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Our alibi needs to be same, okay? So we never killed anybody today. We, what did we do? We bibbidi bobbidi booped them away somewhere. Pagri pakri? Revelia. Yes. Ugly buggery. Figatus, 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 mum. Presbydigitorium. Oh, there's more of them. I did. And I made them all murderers. They all lightly, killed somebody am, today. <laughs> Every time they go out with me. Large, but what? Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lord oh, there's a lot there. Headed. Okay, I'm mad. I hope you're ready to commit some more bibbidi boppity boops. Oh, that's the commander. Oh, oh, dang it. Too fast. Ooh. Come in here. Ah. <laughs> ah. Is that how we're going to play, huh? Ooh, I threw an anvil at him. I'm gonna slice this one's head off. Oh, I mean, bibbidi boppidi boop his head off. Stay close. I've handled much worse. Revelia, another boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Ooh, wee. A lot of. Random stuff here. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, let's turn on that real quick. If I pull on that. Okay, that opens the gate over there, but I don't need that yet. I'm gonna go up. Some money. Force push. <laughs> That's what that is. The pulso is just nothing but force push. Oh, someone said like Harry Potter is just nothing but Star Wars with wizard uh, wands or something like that. <laughs> Rebellion. Ooh, what's this? Someone, I forgot who left. Someone said that Harry Potter is just Star Wars with wands. <laughs> Where did Amit go? Alright, Amit, let's go. That's where we came from. Ha ha! <laughs> Just force powers. It's true. It's true. Oh, what Someone's the freak? Come here, you. I'll turn you into a barrel. Fly away. That's the last loyalist. Oh my god, are you serious? Unfortunate, really. I'd imagine most goblins to be brilliant and kind. 
I turned the goblin into a barrel and then I threw the barrel until it exploded. Oh, that's pretty mean, actually. Revelio. Yeah, basically, wizard duels is just force duels without the lightsaber. But we need the lightsabers. Yeah, without the lightsabers, it's Harry Potter. <laughs> In space. Devil's oh snare. crap! Nasty stuff Lewis. if we're not careful. Not an entanglement we need right now. Let's get ready to hoggedy pockety. Ooh, a lot of hoggedy pocketies. Slow an assassin, launch an enemy into an enemy with the pulse. Oh. Ooh, sons an assassin. Are you an assassin? No. And the pulse! Where's the assassin? There you are. <laughs> that should be the last of them. The goblin hit another goblin, launched him on the wall. That was cool. Revelio. It's a lot of junk we're getting. A whole lot of nothing. I think we can turn the fire, uh, the elevator on. Yep. Fringo. Crimson. Check crimson. This cloak. is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Oh no. Let's get out of here and tell Lord Gok what we found. Rebellion. I feel like Lord Gok's in on it. Just, just, just. Feel it. Revelio. Elevator, elevator. I need a moment. 
moment to catch my breath. Yeah. This was more than I bargained for. I'm no. glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amit. All I needed was an interpreter, and now I got you. I got blood on your Rebellion. hands. <clears throat> and I feel like we're about to go fight some kind of boss. Come on, you had fun, no, Amit? Huh? Yes, no. You got to. You got to really bobbly boop people. That's exactly what Merlin does. Everyone's hero, Merlin. Revelio. You did a lot of hig of this, hig of this. Short stairs. Oh, for the room. Man, I don't have the patience to do that anymore. I've actually designed like a room like a, in a game Revelio. once for like my Final Fantasy XIV, and it was super nice. I used all the tips and tricks to make it like. Like clipping and glitching and stuff like that, and then they and I took a break, and they demolished my house. If you don't play for three months, they take your house, they throw away everything, and you have like a couple of time, a couple of months to retrieve it. If you don't, you lose everything. Look, the lift. <laughs> a welcome sight indeed. If I go this way, ooh. Wait, that's the exit. Then what's the lift for? Five is fourteen. 11, uh, I didn't design it. 11, I just threw it in my room because you get, you get, uh, what's it called? Um, you get benefits and bonuses for having certain um, craft, not crafting, uh, housing items inside. For example, one of the big ones is if you beat the game, I think in one of the things, you get like a, an item that if you place in your housing, you immediately get life three. Auto life, which means if you die, you automatically oh re raise. There we go. That's the word. You automatically get re raise one, just for having that thing in your house, like that kind of stuff. But fourteen, uh, no fourteen. I don't think there was any benefits or bonuses to your characters, but it's just strictly for cosmetics. I made a freaking bathroom. I put a mirror there. I made a toilet. Because you don't have a toilet, you, you can't, you can't, there's no toilet item. So what you do is you get a chair and then you put a lid on top of it and you make sure like it's invisible once on top of each other. <laughs> Can we please talk about what just... That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Cock. Understood. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Amit hates Your me. goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. You do. I Without actually prefer ado, The Realm Reborn. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, the original legacy, was a little ambitious. They were trying to do something so different that it didn't work out. Final Fantasy XIV, Realm Reborn is pretty much wow with Final Fantasy skin on it. But it works because at the time, WoW is one of the biggest MMORPGs. And then as soon the as soon as Realm Reborn started getting bigger, they started getting their own identity with the Savage and the um, the the what is it called the hit indicators for bosses. They did that better than WoW in my opinion. And then they established They're their own identity with that. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So I was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. 
she was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch when I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gog, for telling me this. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. We're slowly going to the core of the story. <clears throat> I like the sound of a great war. <laughs> that sounds fun. Oh yeah, Realm Reborn to me, I play both. Uh, I loved WoW up to Burning Crusades. Uh, and then I'm more of a Final Fantasy. I played 11, but I played both. And I think Realm Reborn and Final Fantasy 14 is really good. Especially now with the Endwalker, the story, wow. There were moments when I was playing that and I was tearing up. That's how good that game was. All right, we got one more. Sebastian, where are you at? Oh, all the way over there. All right, let's go. <clears throat> They're all good games, really. But uh, MMORPGs truly take all your time in final fantasy 14 in certain expansions i got every single legendary relic weapon you know the best weapon you can possibly on get another adventure and it's all shiny and whatnot those cost like i did one for every job i'm currently i'm still currently max job for every class i just don't feel like i can have i don't i have what it takes to play an mmo right now <laughs> MMO truly takes all your attention. It really does. But dude, I'm interested. Um, uh, there's a new one coming out. I forgot the name. Something something blue. It's actually made by. It's an MMO by made by the Tales people. It's Bandai Namco's um, new upcoming MMO. Blue something. That one looks interesting.
I thought my owl might pique your interest. Hey! Let's do this instead. <laughs> I want to find out what happened to our... Uh, like, what happened to the poppy story, the dragon story. Sebastian, you're just going to have to wait. Yeah, that's nice, Guild War. Yeah, and then paying for the sub too, it's like, ugh. If I'm going to pay $15 a month, it's like I want to be dedicated to it, you know? Maybe when the next expansion comes out, I'll go back to Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> Alright, hey, puppy. Give me oh, a dragon. Good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she alright? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. What's a Snidget? <laughs> exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. Ooh. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. I mean, in bird? fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, ah. which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. That's why it's called a Snitch, because it's based why off Snidgets. Why would Snidgets be valuable ah. to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. The wizard kind if sounds the poachers like found them now, bastards. I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Let's go take them out. Where exactly are these snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. All right. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it. Poppy got but a I taste know she's of devastated blood. devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets. She wants to keep hanging out with me. Exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us. Who value creatures as much Merlin's as... beard! You're a genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs! Perfect. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. Wait, let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Ah, oh, really? You just wanted to talk? Fine. Yep. I'm only gonna thinking about trying out that blue one because it's made by the Tails team. It's Tails's uh like MMORPG. So like who knows? The story might be good. Alright, we're back to Sebastian. <laughs> Where you at? I think so. I think the ministry is corrupt. That is why I need to rise above Handy all resource that. resource indeed. Your... Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. I trust nobody.
I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranlock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, but seriously. perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Rookwood Castle and I mean, Isidora's Manor. Be a bounty hunter. How do we want to handle this? We deal blows. We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. We're not very well. <laughs> and I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. Let's go. We're not sneaky dicky like. We're just gonna go destroy everybody there. There Ro they are, up ahead. Ro I'll let you lead. Ro no one this mine. We pull Did one. Crucio. So this way, they all can get cursed by this. Yeah. And then. Imperial. In your pain. <laughs> hey, that worked. All Grand Rock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Damn, we're a bunch of murdering kids. That's all we are. I can't hide it no longer. This is going. Well. We're enjoying the we murder make a good now. Team. <laughs> we do it that. Hoggedy, hoggedy. Oh, there's a landing panel Once here. Once again, we could fight our way through. Uh, let me mark. Okay, so there's a landing panel here. Remember that. Sweet. <gasps> and then this makes them all cursed. There's one more. Where? There's a red. Where are you at? Perhaps we can find a red head. Sneaky oh, around. Oh. Come on. And the fun is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. Ooh, we're turning super evil. We're being evil. Oh, okay. Here. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Why be sneaky beaky like? We just walk in and just be like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Revelio. For better or for worse. We're in. Yeah, come here. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Confringo! Hello! Oh, yeah, jump! Oh! <laughs> Revelio. for even a spider to prey on. Yes, spiders! Rebellion.
I like holding them in the air and then slicing. Uh, they definitely think there's something here they want. Maybe really bopping their heads off. Oh no, that's that thing on the bobber. Okay. All right, but there's a chest here somewhere. Where, where, where? In this spidey? That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? Eh, there's Revelio. a chest here. Down? Oh, down! <laughs> I think that'd be really fun, actually, playing for the Ministry. Like, you find out it's corrupted and, you know, like... It's not what you think it was. There's a lot of corruption. Ooh. And you found out that the head of the ministry was actually an evil dark wizard the whole time. And you're trying it's to clean no up from the spiders inside. Give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs or the solar signs. And all you're doing is chasing after fangs, cereal. Uh, or any wizards. number of endearing qualities, really. Oh, crap. I should have went the other way. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Uh, well, that's how it starts. They assign you to go capture like serial murderers or serial wizards. Find out one of the wizards was actually just trying to uncover the truth. Pavelio. That the head of the ministry is actually corrupt. Confringo. What did that do? Revelio. Confringo. Hello. That bridge has seen better days. Uh huh. Repair it. Revelio. Oh, right here. Confringo. Oh, Spidey. Revelio. Hey, there's a chest here. <laughs> Revelia. Ooh, there's a bunch of goblins. Uh, uh, That's it? Red. Revelia. Am I poisoned? Confringo. Why does it say I'm getting hit? Revelia. <laughs> what am I getting hit by? We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists all but. Oh, nasty. Lumos. Lumos. These tentacles, the devils, whatever, they creep me out more than anything in this game. Ah, oh, never mind, I just had to say that. This, this creeps me out. Ooh. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Ooh, happy thoughts. Lumos. Lumos. Yeah. Oh, this is some freaking like love crafty and horror stuff right here Ooh, that one had a special sound so i'm guessing it's a nice little item the love crafty and horror stuff Ooh. Lumos. Lumos. hg geiger would be Rebellion. proud Oh. Ooh, 
look at these bones! It's so tiny and look at the bones, Sebastian! Look at the bones! Prepare thy magical hand grenade. Oh my gosh! Revelia. Sebastian, prepare the Expelliarmus. Oops. Oops. Prepare the magical Rebellion. hand grenade. What? Hey, ugh, that's a lot of spideys. We've still not seen a single. Oh, I so. am poisoned. I think we're going to be a bit <laughs> distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Ooh. Why am I not surprised? Come here. Oh, that was a dumb. <laughs> what the heck was that? There's a matriarch spider somewhere. We're not finished yet. Yep, there she is. Oh, something, something is crying. Five seconds. Come on, come on. I guess that curse was her her a lot. <laughs> you certainly cleared the room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. Ah, there's that Hufflepuff loyalty you're so well known for. Heck is that symbol fire? Confringo! Revelio. Above the cavern door. Confringo! Grandpa's loyalists never knew to look for it. Surprised to find a couple more room symbols. Revelia. One, two, three. Okay. Confringo. <laughs> Revelia. Okey Confringo. Expecting that. Ah, uh, more spideys. Revelio. What's the black? Thing? What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. 
Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Sebastian, I think I found mystery. something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganhawk was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. This is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. Revelio. I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Well, why? <laughs> I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a oh, huge, huge mine face. in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Runrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Runrock's fight. A friendly goblin? <laughs> you know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins. Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Ooh. Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. You could just trust me after that. Come on. Ooh, level up. Talent. Sebastian is heading too much to the dark side. They turn into explosives. Oh, yes, for sure. <laughs> That's just making ancient magic ammunition. Great. Next one is dark arts. Next one I need to do. Let's see. No, I think we need to do this, this, and then maybe this. Okay, cool. Let's go to my home. Not home, but my room. Sebastian's going unhinged. We need him to teach us cadaver first though, so let's let's try to be on his side for a little let's bit. As soon as I can. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by spin witches as soon as you can. Cool. Oh what well, I thought I used wiggles. Ah, it's just one? Ah, well, I'll, I'll take it. And, uh, ooh, what is this? Nope. Uh, 
That's n ugly. That's kind of cool, but no, I want my, uh... Yeah, right, yeah. My Ministry Aura look before she gets betrayed or, or discovers the truth and, you know, retaliates. I need to go loom. Alright, we've actually hit the hour and 30 minute mark of our show, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as I did my part 27 playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy. We got a lot done in terms of story. Oh, Sebastian's getting unhinged. We need him to teach us cadaver before abracadaver before he goes crazy and then we can use it on him. Anyways, um, Hopefully you guys will come back uh, tomorrow for another part, part 28, as we continue our playthrough. Good news though, they just announced a wool long PC patch. So that means that uh, I need to finish up Hogwarts soon so I can go ahead and play wool long because now that the PC patch is coming. Well, first of all, oh, not first of all, thank you so much everybody. We'll be taking a quick break. It'll be back later with another episode of Mobile Corner. Have a good rest of the night. Bye-bye, y'all.